Louise and Dee's Living Fit Every Day in my office, um, and I was excited to bring this uh, next part to you on how I apply the principles of the 12 steps in recovery programs to my fitness because it has really helped me tremendously, and I want to share that out because I, I know it can help you. So at least planting those seeds of things to think about um, and how if you use these principles as you're going along, um, that they can help you overcome some of the excuses and the struggles and the obstacles um, and the things that kind of get in the way of us actually achieving the awesome life that we want. So yesterday I talked about really how you get started and, and kind of creating that mindset and you know admitting you're powerless and then finding that power and then turning your um, your thoughts and your actions over to that power and suiting up and showing up and kind of some of those really foundational things that we need um, for anything that we are trying to achieve. Um, but I know fitness and you know food and fitness seem to be a lot of the things that people struggle with and with all the health problems that we have today, we need to be really extra vigilant on you know committing to doing the best that we can. So I wanted to just jump in today with um, steps four through nine and they are really about um, taking an inventory about the habits that you have formed now that have kind of gotten you where you're at and the obstacles that have kind of been created along the way through all that um, and how you can change that the actions you can take and then also how that is affecting not only yourself but others um, so these are you know steps four through nine so um, so we're going to look at obstacles and wreckage and amends to ourselves and to others and then how we can you know, pay it forward, lead by example. So in step four is really about taking an inventory. Um, so when I apply that to fitness, it's looking at where I'm at today, kind of getting a, you know, just taking a snapshot of what is my health condition, what do I want to change, and looking at the behavior that kind of got me here. What have I, what kind of choices have I made? What kind of excuses have I been allowing um, myself to not take the action? And sometimes with those are, um, we do that out of fear, and we do it out of insecurity, and we do it out of, um, because we're afraid to make the change. So it's important to look at that. So where are you at right now? And you know, what have you been doing up to this point? Like what actions have you taken? So we look at, um, you know, if you look at where you're at and you look at how you got there, and then that is you identify in a nutshell, what have I done to set the ball rolling that has placed me in a position to be harmed or in this case unhealthy. So what happens in this process is because I know for myself, I wanted to turn it around to, um, the outside circumstances that were getting in the way of me actually achieving my health and fitness goals or the health issues that now are created that I can't so I've got this issue so I can't do that and you know so what you end up doing is turning that back around and looking at what were the actions that I took that set that ball in motion that have now placed me in this position to be as unhealthy or unfit or you know why I'm not jumping on and and actually taking action so that's the first one. It's inventory. So having the courage to look, because that's what we don't want to do. You know, it's that fear again. We don't want to look, but you really have to. If you want to make changes, you have to know what you need to change, right? So that is four. And then five is actually, it's sharing that with somebody else. I highly encourage you, um, if you have that workout partner we talked about, that accountability partner, um, if your spouse or your best friend, somebody you can talk to, or I'm happy to be that person if you want to reach out and share those with me. Um, you got to gain that new perspective. You have to have that outside person looking in. So you need to share those things that you came up with in your inventory. Of, here's where I'm at. Here's what got me here. Uh, here's the kind of action that I've been taking to set this ball rolling. And gaining a new perspective on how can I make that start making that change. So it's really having that integrity, integrity of owning up to and taking responsibility for the actions that have gotten you to where you're at. Because again, if you don't identify those things, you're not gonna be able to change them. So sharing that with uh, somebody else, it gets it out of your head. It, it doesn't, you know, 
you can't tell yourself those excuses. Sometimes we feed ourselves so much BS that we start believing it. And so you need somebody else to gut check you, to give you that truth bomb, reality check. And here's what's, here's the truth. So, um, so again, that's in, having the courage and the integrity to do those things. Okay. So now that you've done that, you're in step six and that's taking those things that you have identified that are unhealthy habits. And in, in a recovery, it's, it's, um, removing your defects of character. So I've identified those defective things in my character that I have used as sort of a, a security blanket, and but those behaviors just create more problems and, and, um, and that affects other people too. So in step six, we're taking what we've identified are the things that we need to change and, um, and then being, start, to get willing. So that's step six is that willingness. And we talked about being willing yesterday too, because you have to, you know, summon up that initial willingness to start doing this process. But now that you've identified, okay, here's what I actually need to do. It's having that willingness to take the action. And if you have in, um, um, enlisted a accountability partner along the way, they're going to help you stay on track with this. So now you've, you've called your BS, you're owning up to it, you know you need to make certain changes, you start developing a plan of action, and then it's um, following through with that. And then that gets you into step seven. You know, it's really that humility. You have to replace those unhealthy habits with new healthy lifestyle. And so that is all gonna be about getting into action. You know, we're not perfect. We never will be, don't ever try to be, because if you do, you set yourself up for failure. But now that you know what your behaviors and what your choices and those those defects of character that got you to where you're at now to where and identified you know what things you need to change it's really about making that decision and reaching out and again asking for help in step seven we talk about asking for uh, those defects of character to be removed we humbly ask for them to be removed and that's being humble I'm here, I'm overweight, I'm out of shape, I have health issues, I need to make a change. And we move forward. And then that's where you get into some more action. So um, it's important to identify a why when you are on a fitness journey, right? Because that's gonna be your driver that's gonna push you to take the action each day. And so if you do steps eight and nine, which are about who is this affected and, um, and who is it affected up to this point and how who's going to be affected going forward is how I look at it. So step eight is really about love. It's about a looking back at who we may have harmed in this process. And in when you're talking about fitness, it's not that you have physically harmed anyone, but maybe because you have let yourself go. And in my case, um, you know, what, what I think about is like my son, when especially when it was in, as far as my recovery goes, you know, who would I at harm? Well, it certainly, you know, um, he had experienced some things that he shouldn't have had as a, as a child. And so I'd harmed him. And then, but then going forward now, you know, I have to lead by example and I'm an older mom. So if I'm going to be able to give him a life uh, that's active where he doesn't have this mom that can't do anything you know then um you know if i'm not taking care of myself it is definitely going to affect him um it's also in this process and it took some time but i encouraged my sister to start doing this and she really is under you know a lot of stress and um, has a large commitment in taking care of our brother. So her, she needs to be healthy because it not only affects her longevity, but also how she can show up and um, take care of our brother. And then, you know, with my mom, she's currently going through cancer. She had her stomach removed. So I need to be the best person as far as leading by example with nutrition and positivity. And that all comes from leading healthy lifestyle, right? And our fitness is where it starts, but it, it becomes so much more than that. So that's the actually the part of nine. So where you're making amends in nine, you're actually taking the action, going and physically making amends. But in your fitness, what you're doing is you're leading by example. So it's that discipline of suiting up and showing up and doing what you said you were going to do because it matters. And it, who does it matter to? Well, you identified that in step eight. And really, um, if you're not leading by example and you and you're not taking care of those health issues that you identified in your inventory, what you are promoting is, and if you feel miserable in your current condition, if you, because I've been there, 
I, I didn't like the skin I lived in. I was uncomfortable in my clothes. I had no energy. Um, I, I had aches and pains, right? And if I'm not actively doing something to change that and leading by example with that, then what I am promoting and what my example is, is further um, carrying on that misery, right? That's my legacy. It's like, I'm gonna live in it and this is how we're gonna live and sorry if you're affected by that, but this is just what we're doing. So don't do that. You, It all just start really small. And we talked about that yesterday. It's 24 hours. You just gotta make some little changes and you will see big results, but you have to be consistent with it. You have to look at some of these other things that we've identified and really um, know why you want to get fit and healthy in the first place. So I, these are the principles that I used in my fitness and it keeps me going, especially on the days when I don't feel like it, and especially on the days when I'm grumpy or just, you know, I'm not feeling it, so I don't wanna do it, but I know when I do just take the action, get out of my head, just start getting into action, that I start to feel a whole lot better and it's not just the physical activity. My mental state is better. Um, you know, I have more energy. I want to do more things. My confidence is boosted. My self-esteem is increased and I'm just a happier person. So why not, right? Okay, so enough out of me. That was for today and I'm going to wrap it up tomorrow. You don't wanna miss it. Um, so definitely comment below on what of these steps that you uh, most related to that you think you could use or hopefully all of them, right? Because remember yesterday, this is not cafeteria style. You want to, to, to do all of the things that are gonna get you there. So, but I would like to know which, which one of these kind of like stood out to you most. So we had four was taking an inventory, having that courage to take an inventory and really assess yourself and get an honest look at that. And five was having the integrity to actually share that with somebody else and get a new perspective and start planning that game, you know, game plan, that action plan. Six was that saying, I'm owning up to this. Yeah, this is what I did and it's got me to this place. And knowing that there, that your behaviors are what got you here. Seven is actually taking action to remove those and change those and create new healthy lifestyle habits. So that was humility, like six was willingness. Eight is just love. Look at who you've affected, including yourself. And you have to forgive yourself and love yourself. So don't forget that. Um, and then nine is again, action. This is action, action, and more action because we wanna be active people, right? And so it is taking all that you've learned up to this point and putting it into action and leading by example because you wanna promote a healthy, happy, hopeful life for yourself and for your family and friends. All right, everybody, hope this is helpful to you. Coach Louise, living fit every day. See you tomorrow, bye.